Hello, Guardians. We are in the midst of another faction rally, and I'm here to guide you through it. We'll break down what faction rallies are, the best way to grind them, and the sweet, sweet rewards you can earn. Okay, faction rallies 101. Every so often, the city puts on a little friendly competition. There are three factions, each with unique rewards. Future War Cult, New Monarchy, and the obvious best faction, Dead Orbit. The best rewards up for grabs is a catalyst for your exotic weapons, which will upgrade them into masterworks, giving them specific buffs. The three exotics in this faction rally are the Graviton Lance for Dead Orbit, Sunshot for Future War Cult, and Sweet Business for New Monarchy. You'll need to grind out 1,000 tokens to get the catalyst, and if your faction wins, you'll automatically get a reward, a weapon or piece of gear. So what's the best way to grind this? Well, it isn't easy, that's for sure. But after quite a bit of grinding, I can clue you into a few tricks of the trade. Number one, wear your faction armor. You see, when you pledge to a faction, you'll gain what's called renown when you're out there fighting in the open world. The more renown you have, the better your token haul will be for completing certain activities. However, max renown will nerf your damage and recovery. Yeah, uh, no bueno. Wearing your full set of faction armor, which you'll earn from getting ingrams for the tokens you cash in, will help you stack renown faster. You'll know your renown level by looking at this little box on your HUD or these little candle things floating on your shoulders in third person. You'll max out renown at five. Now you can gain tokens from doing pretty much everything, crucible, strikes, whatever. For the most efficient grind, start by doing your faction milestones. These will get you up to 20 tokens. Nightfall will get you 14 to 18. Crucible wins will get you five. Losses will get you two. Heroic strikes will get you seven. And heroic public events will get you five. Capturing a drop will earn you one token. And clearing a lost sector with max renown will net you 10 whole tokens. So, the best way to grind up after doing your milestones is to do the heroic public events to stack renown and then do a lost sector. Okay, let's do the math. If you went back and forth between a public event for 5 and a lost sector for 10, you'll need to complete the cycle 66 times to get up to 1000. Now, that's without factoring in milestones or the other activities you'll inevitably end up doing, but it's still quite a bit of work. The best place I've found to do this is on Titan. Go between the public events there and the Lost Sector in Cargo Bay 3. You'll know you're in the right spot because a big old ogre will come out. This is good because you can get right into the fight. Use your heavy ammo and supers to melt the boss, collect the reward, rinse, and repeat. Pro tip, equip any weapons that'll give you a health buff, as this will help with the renown nerfs. If you die in the attempt, you'll lose renown rank and will have to get it back up before going to face the boss again. That's about it, Guardians. Remember that you can only pledge to one faction per character, and the rally ends with the weekly reset. There also may be specific tasks you need to do to unlock the catalyst abilities or an ornament. Look at the specific items to get the details. Now get out there, grind it out, and may the best faction, mm, Dead Orbit, win. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Those things really help and will encourage me to make more videos. For all the latest and greatest when it comes to Destiny, keep it here, tuned into Alex Plays. And until next time, happy hunting, Guardians.